Hi, I'm gonna read you the story of a scrumptious mango, a mango de chupete, by Zoraida Vasquez and Julieta Monteleng Montelengo. From the book, back of the book, and the spine. Tika is the girl who lives in Mozambique, and Mozambique is an Africa country, far away from us. Tika's skin is dark, and her hair is black and very curly, like that of most of the children who live over there in Mozambique. A Tika, like you and all the children, she likes to eat sweets, ask a lot of questions, and play as long as possible. They love playing, like I know you guys do like to play. Look at to play with a hula hoops, a yo-yo, a ball, and I think she has a jump rope. We do play also with those toys in here. However, there is something that Tika likes more than anything in the world. Eat mangoes. Look at her, she's eating mangoes. I like mangoes too. One day, which was not yesterday or the day before yesterday, Tika was walking through the mountains when she discovered a mango. A huge, beautiful mango. Out of the ordinary. A scrumptious mango. Which means delicious, mouth-watering, lips mucky and yummy. Mmm, I want one too. That mango will be mine, thought Tika, and decided to get it. She is gonna get it. Let's see how she does. Tika started climbing the tree, but on the third branch she slipped and fell to the ground. She fell down. Then so she ran to the house to her house, took the old ladder and dragged her up the hill to where the tree was. She's dragging the ladder. It's a lot of work that she's doing. Here, all we have to do is go to the store and buy the mango. <laughs> Tika climbed the ladder, but the steps were old and rotten from the rainwater, and once more, she fell to the ground. So she fell to the ground. She was climbing, and then she fell to the ground. So remember when we were learning about the trees? Yeah, that. Um, the ladder, the ladder was made out of wood, and the wood comes from the trees. And sometimes the ladder, the um, wood, if it's exposed to the water, they can, it's not protected, they can get rotten. <clears throat> Later, another idea occurred to her. She looked for a very long stick and tried to lower the mango with it, but she couldn't. Tika got sat down under the tree. She, she wanted to cry. I think she was very frustrated because she really wanted to, right, eat the mango. She can't get it. But she remembered that her grandfather's words. When you feel like crying, lay your eyes, shed a few tears, and tell you how to think in the meantime how to solve your problem. So the grandfather said, yeah, you can cry a little bit, but have to think, use your brain, remember, use your brain how to solve the problem. Let's see what she's going to come up with. Take a look up. There was the mango. More appetizing than ever. I think, oof, I think it looks even bigger. She saw a monkey swinging on the branches and an idea 
suddenly occurred to her. She had another idea. Let's see what she's going to do. She knew that the monkeys usually imitate what one does. We know that too because remember on the story of Hats for Sales? When they were selling the hats and they stole the hats from the seller, the peddler? Yeah, he, he didn't know they imitated, but she knows that already. And we know that because we read the story. Let's see if it's going to work. Tika started dancing and the little monkey started dancing on the branches. Tika gestured at the little monkey, like making silly faces, gestures are, you know, like silly faces. And the monkey make even silly faces than her. So I think it's working. Tika took a small stone from the ground and threw it at the monkey. Then the monkey searched around him, grabbed the mango, and throw it at her. Look at the monkey. The mango. The mango. Oh, she's ready to catch it. <sighs> that mango tastes very delicious to her. Not only because it was delicious, but because she had obtained it thanks to all the intelligence that was inside her head with curly black hair. Yeah, you see. She didn't give up. She solved the problem and got her mango. I'm wondering, is she going to share with her friends? What do you think? What would you do? Let's see what she did. Now you know. When you want to reach a taste, fruit or you find yourself in a little problem remember Tika and start thinking about how to solve your problem and look she did not chew her mango I think she's look at she's eating it all to herself hmm I wonder what's gonna happen to her if she eats the whole mango to herself what do you think? Do you like the story? Then you go into your journal and you can draw your favorite part of the story. Or your favorite fruit. What would you like to eat? What's your favorite fruit? Maybe you can draw that too. Thank you. I hope you like it. The end.